Hi. So I'm recording this just in case something fun happens. And what I'm about to do is take a current measurement using a Harbor Freight well, uh, multimeter. And I need to get a current measurement from the output of this little wire right here. And this, if you've never seen one before, is a mini singing Tesla coil. And how this operates is basically it takes a, an audio signal from uh, the output from a computer, your phone, or something like that. I've got Lindsay Sterling playing on the computer. And it takes um, some current and some voltage, and then through a design that Tesla came up with, Nikola Tesla, um, it's going to convert it into, um, well, it's going to create some electromagnetism, but and then when it discharges, it's going to create this spark after it goes through the secondary coil, and it's going to have a really high voltage and ideally a low current, and it's going to this is going to play the music that's playing on the computer. And when Tesla originally did it, I'll plug this in right now. When Tesla originally did it, his uh, aim was to basically transmit electricity wirelessly. And you can see that I've got a, a light bulb here. As I bring it close, it turns on and then off. He did this in like 1890. Can you imagine? It blows my mind now that there's music coming off this little spark playing off the computer. But in the 1800s, it's just seen. It's magic. So anywho, um, when these guys are running, these heat sinks get pretty hot. And I was going to put on this 12-volt DC fan. And fans run off very little current. So if I was just to hook it straight to the Tesla coil, I thought I'd blow the fan up into smithereens. And so I was going to install a buck converter to either bring down the, well, to change the voltage to get the fan to a more reasonable range. But then I ended up blowing up a component on one of my buck converters, and I only have one left. So I wanted to try to do the calculations before I just put things on and see how they work. And my first route as an engineer was software, and the software couldn't figure it out, kept giving me nonsensical numbers. And I can do the pen and paper calculations, but I'm not exactly sure how to model or what's supposed to happen around inductors and how Tesla coil operates and whether it's steady state or unsteady state, lots of unknowns. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a measurement from here, find out my current going through here, and then be able to back out and find voltages and currents everywhere else using Kirchhoff laws. And the reason why I'm filming it is I suspect that because this is basically a wire and I'm going to be hooking it up in series to get current off of it, I'm going to be drawing way more amperage than the things used to providing. And ideally a Tesla coil is going to have high voltage coming out of this, this top coil here and low current, but I'm going to be changing that because I'm going to be grounding it to this giant piece of metal over here. So maybe something will pop. Wouldn't be terrible. This one's already kind of damaged. This wire overheated, I suspect, because these sinks uh, weren't removing the heat fast enough. And this wire overheated and started arcing to this, this tower, so I just pulled it back with a little zip tie. This guy's pretty much on his way out. I got another one over here, getting ready to 3D print uh, housing for it. But I wanted to do the circuitry first before I finalized everything. And here we go. Music is coming from that tip. <laughs> 